Oh, we have a new message. Jen Jean T says, did you find real people for your video? Do you want to reply? This internet connection isn't stable at the moment. This internet connection isn't strong enough at the moment. Message to Igor Padrug using SMS, sure. What's the message? This internet connection isn't stable at the moment. Jen Jean T says, did you find real people for your video? Do you want to reply? Yes. This internet connection isn't stable at the moment. Let's put it up there. Let's see, is, is, is the plastic of the Chevy Cruze the problem here? Send message to Jen. Message to Jen Jean T using SMS, sure. What's the message? Oh my God, it actually works. Here's your SMS message to Jen Jean T. Oh my God, it actually works. Do you want to send it or change it? Yes, yes. When you're ready to keep going, just say if you want to send or change this message. Send the message. Send, send the message. Send the message. Not sure how to help send, with this. Send the message. Send the message. Sorry, did you want to send it or change it? Send it. Also say, cancel it. Send it. It's on its way. Holy f Message sent. Uh-oh, the driveway's empty. Well, that's because we're not actually reviewing two cars today. We're reviewing two different technologies. Our showdown is on Android Auto versus Apple CarPlay. We're gonna make this as brief and comprehensive as possible. First thing, if you've never used Android Auto or CarPlay before, you have to enable it in the settings here, one or the other, not both. Take your phone, plug it into the USB onto the car. With Android Auto, with the Galaxy Note 5, you can't use your phone anymore. Android Auto has a number of features. You can use Google Maps or Waze. Either one of them, you can pinch, zoom around. You can see traffic. You can do the same thing with Waze. Pinch, zoom, traffic. Navigate to Tim Hortons. Showing results for Tim Hortons. Head south on Rue Catherine toward Rue Richard. You can still listen to the car radio, just go into your radio setting, or you can use different services through Google, such as Google Play Music. And it'll display a little pop-up at the top when you change music, so you know always what's playing without having to go to a different menu. You also have different options, Google Play Music, Spotify, there are other options as well. Android Auto's home screen has things like the current music, navigation directions that you used last, and your weather. You can also click the microphone at the top to be able to voice text, such as sending a message to a friend. Send a message to Jen. Hello, I'm texting you from Android Auto. Here's your SMS message to Jen Jean T. Hello, I'm texting you from Android Auto. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Oh, we have a new message. Jen Jean T says, did you find real people for your video? Do you want to reply? Now, one of the nice benefits of the Google Maps navigation, I find that they really do work the best. Um, you can see uh, your route there. It's a 3D view as a normal GPS system would use, and even the same thing that you would use on your phone too, it's the same layout and same structure. You can see traffic, um, they gave you the route options there with traffic, so you can see, and it will tell you too if there's a slowdown. Now you can also add a thing along the way, so search along the route, let's say you're getting hungry, you're on a long trek even though we're going to a restaurant, but let's say you want to get some food too, you can search for restaurants right along the way. And as you can see, now we've added a destination. So let's say if you're going on a long trip, you want to be able to get directions to go to grandma's house. She lives six or seven hours away. Well, maybe you're a little hungry. You want to get lunch before you get there. This is a great way to do it. So you just plug in this device, just like that, switch it over. So same thing, you've got uh, the ability to listen to your AM FM radio, but when you go into now playing, You've got Apple Music, since most of what Apple does is their own little ecosystem. It works the best if you're using Apple product. 
There you go. Now, the one thing that we've noticed with Apple CarPlay, uh, when you're listening to the music you see here, there is a photo. It's hard to tell on the video, but there is a photo behind all of this text. But this is all text. You actually can't see the photo. And if you're in your navigation system and you switch the song, there is no pop-up uh, or notification to tell you that you've changed the song. So just little differences there. So speaking of navigation, your only option is Apple Maps. And uh, it, it doesn't have pinch to zoom. You have to tap in order to get into closer up and then to push this button to move your map around. And they do display traffic. Might be impossible to see really on the, the video here, but see there's some, oh. So Apple Maps displays traffic only if it's heavy or medium, not as if it's uh, regular flow. So you won't really actually know if there is traffic or lack of traffic data there unless it's slow. Oh, we've got a message. Who said, Android Auto frustrates me face with cold sweat, smiling face with sunglasses, neutral face, face with wide open eyes and flushed cheeks, pouting face, angry face, nauseated face, woman with computer. Want a reply? Yes. What do you want to say? Okay. Your reply to Boo says, okay. Ready to send it? Yes. I'll send it. Was that so hard, Google? Navigate to Tim Hortons. One possibility I see is Tim Hortons. Let me know if I should call one of them or get directions for you. Starting route to Tim Hortons. So as you can see here, you zoom in as far as you can go, and it doesn't allow you to do a 3D, there's no 3D map uh, like Google's got. And then you also have to tap it twice, tap it once to pull up the menu and then pull up the search. So you can see here, for some reason, our marked location, these are all our history stuff. I guess if we wanna see stuff along the way. Um, and these are along our route here. Uh, if we wanted to find, even though we are going to a restaurant, if we wanted to find another restaurant to go to, uh, again, these are you know, more or less on the way, not really, they're kind of out of the way, um, these specific ones here. So, you know, there are options to kind of add a, a POI to your route as you're driving along, which could be certainly helpful if you're in an area that you haven't been to before and you want to go get gas, get something to eat. Android Auto's display is a little bit different, giving you some more information and making it a little prettier. One of the nice things is you can choose the different map software or different music software, so you don't have to be married to Google's ecosystem in order to use Android Auto. While we do like the ease and display of Google Maps, some things like messaging are just hit or miss. Send message to Jen. Sorry, who do you want to message? Jen. What's the message? I like how this works, even though it wasn't working 10 minutes ago. Here's your SMS message to Jen Janti. I like how this works, even though it wasn't working 10 minutes ago. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. It's on its way. So CarPlay's home screen is pretty basic. You've just got the apps there. You can configure them through the phone. So unlike with Android, you can still use your phone. So if you've got a co-pilot who's maybe your DJ for a drive, then they can go through all of your album stuff. They can go into navigation and search for destinations to go to. It works really well. Um, and you can also disable that too if you prefer that the phone is not active while it's connected to the car. If you use Apple products and you love Apple, then things like the maps are integrated very well and music is also integrated very well. The design is straightforward, not having any extra fluff to crowd up an already pretty simple display. Also, with things like text messaging, it seems to just work, whereas with Google, it's been pretty hit or miss. I think what we've learned here is that each system has its pros and cons. None are perfect, but as people continue to adopt them and use them, they should improve as Google and Apple seem to be pretty committed to making them work. So whether you use Android or Apple or deciding which one to use, I don't think you should make your decision based solely on which one works better in the car because both systems are quite different.
Even though Apple's system worked flawlessly without having any issues whatsoever, I think Android still has more potential. Being able to use different systems like Spotify or Waze rather than being stuck with the default apps like Apple is. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed our showdown on Android Auto versus Apple CarPlay. I know that I've enjoyed finally being able to get a chance to use these technologies after so many years of waiting for it. If you have any questions about either one, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and to be part of our growing community. Until next time, take care. Read my newest message. Well, I can't pick out specific messages yet. Let me check on your new messages. You have one message. Igor Padrug says, smiley face. Do you want to reply? No.